to Youth Outdoors. Today we are coming to you from our barrel talks. And today we're reviewing footage from our December National Forest Hunt. December National Forest Hunt. So this is three days before Christmas. Um, we've got really nothing planned. We've got a few days. I had been out to the National Forest. Uh, it was about two hours away from us the week prior and did a little bit of hunting, a little bit of scouting, took a couple of cameras out there, set up some cameras, and I did not get any pictures of deer, but I did get hogs. some pictures of some hogs. And a bear. And got a picture of a bear too. But we were getting some good pictures of hogs in daylight um, and at night, but, but we were getting some that were coming through daylight and we found this little uh, mud hole, little wallow um, that they were using. So we were pretty excited because it was a chance at us to get a hog. I've never shot a hog. He's never shot a hog either. Um, and the week before, while I was out there scouting, um, I did hang a stand for a little bit on a tree and I had some hogs come through on me, but I just couldn't get on them. Um, but number one, I was too far away. Uh, the first group that came through, and then there were two that just come trucking through the woods at like 70, 80 yards away, never stopped. Yeah, just doing their little snorting thing. Um, and anyways, I couldn't get on them, couldn't shoot them. But the excitement of that, coming back, talking to him, telling him about my experience, him seeing the pictures, we were ready to go. So loaded up everything. Went over there two hours away, see what we could do on some public land. We were really hoping for a hog, like I said. And it was a deer hunt. It was a deer hunt. But we really wanted a hog and a deer would be nice. Yeah, if we would see a deer, it would be nice. Because more odds were on hogs than yeah. deer. There's a lot of hogs out there. So Population. felt pretty good about having the chance of shooting a hog. Um, we get out there, we set up camp. By the time we get, and we're primitive camping too, just tent camping. It's pretty late by the time we get out there, get everything set up. We get up the next morning and head to our first spot. Head to our first spot. Why don't you walk everybody through that? So we drove a little bit to the spot. We got out and we started walking up this hill and then like there's hills like mm -hmm. we're in the Appalachian Mountains mm -hmm. and up and down it's yeah some hard trekking yeah. and we go up at first and then we kind of get to this like little bench yeah, yeah kind of area and then we keep walking and then we go down I think mm -hmm. and then we go up a little bit over this hill and then that's where we're set up. Yeah, so we set up on this little saddle um, that I had scouted out the week before. Um, and that's actually where those hogs had come through. They worked right through that saddle. And I was up on top of the hill behind me when I set up the week before. So we wanted to push on down there a little bit closer to it, a chance to give us a shot if something moved through there again. And it wasn't too long after daylight that... We started hearing the hogs doing their thing over there. What was their thing? <laughs> their, their little snort. That's going to be the code is just... The, yeah. So we heard them, they were off to our right, and we were just hoping that they would work in on us. Um, and then we heard something walking to our right, down below us, coming through. Kind of in front of us, but to the right, not directly, like, mm -hmm. right. And again, he's in the climber, I'm in the saddle. We've hunted like this several times. It works out really well because 
He can be facing the main direction. I'll be on the tree right behind you, hanging off the tree. Checking the sides in the back. Yeah, and then uh, and I, it's easy for me to film that way, and it's just lightweight for me to carry the the climber in with my pack, with the saddle um, and the steps and stuff on I it too. I think I carried it in the backpack. You carried it in the backpack. Yeah, you did. And yeah. that backpack was actually pretty heavy too. Yeah. Well, when you load it down with camera gear and even with just the platform and the climbing steps and stuff, it still had pretty good weight. So. Especially with all that combined. You did pretty good packing it in there. Um, I was out of breath, but <laughs> it's part of it. Part of it. So we're sitting there and we hear these footsteps. Something's coming towards us, right? Not a squirrel. Not a squirrel. We think it's pigs, right? I think here comes the hogs. So turn the camera on and I'm trying to get Evan's attention. I'm trying to tell him to go ahead and get his gun up, but. But I could not you did, hear. You didn't really hear me at the time. And then all of a sudden, it was just like that. We saw an eight pointer. A really nice eight pointer. And then coming behind it was a little four pointer. That's a buck. That's a buck. Shoot him. And they walked right in front of us. And again, I'm in the saddle. I'm probably, because I'm standing up too, I'm four or five feet higher than him. But I'm, And also, there's also this little, like, there's, other it's a drop tip. off. Yeah. It's so a I, drop the off. only thing I really could see is its antlers. And then once you get into the buck fever, it's kind of hard to get out. <laughs> you saw a big buck, you saw those antlers. And uh, daydreaming. I thought I thought he was froze up a little bit. So uh, we're happens to there. the best of us. It happens. Yeah, it definitely happens. Um, from my angle, I felt like I could get a shot on them. Um, so um, after they they came in front of us, both of them, and then just turned and started walking kind of away from us, right, headed towards the bottom of that saddle. They came up the side of the hill was working down towards the saddle. He's got his gun up, he's got his gun ready. I'm just thinking maybe they'll walk down that way, then maybe walk back, or at least turn back over to the left a little bit, the way they were, they were heading, and he would get a chance at a shot. But they just kept working their way towards that bottom, towards that saddle. And um, at this point, I felt like I could get a shot on them. Like, I could see them pretty good. Um, the footage is not great of seeing them. Um, but from my vantage point, I could, I felt like I could make a shot. So I hand you the camera, which takes a little bit for me to get you the camera. Get the camera. Let me get my gun because I've got my gun hanging there too, right? If something comes from behind us or whatever, and I've got a shot, you know, I'm going to try to take the shot too, um, whatever works out best. Or and maybe, plus it's just or nice maybe multiple hogs come in and you get one and I get one too, right?
couldn't get on them. They they worked their way through that saddle. They just kept going. They kept going up the other side. Didn't of the really hill. give us a good broadside shot. And yeah. also, there was a lot of stuff in the way. It was pretty thick. So by that point, um, they were too far away. Too much trash and stuff in in the way that I I couldn't get a good shot on them. And we just had to watch them walk back up the other side of the hill of that saddle. And Such walk out of our animals. walk out of our life, <laughs> but that was the first day. Then um, that afternoon, um, we hunted again. We didn't see anything. Um, we got back to camp um, pretty late because um, every everywhere where you travel out there, um, where our primitive camping spot was, and just to get far. to the camping spot you have to drive at least an hour on these mm -hmm. roads which we lost our canopy and our firewood so yeah we, our trailer was not doing so well on the rocky mountain roads pulling all the camping stuff on it but uh, we made it we got everything set up um, we got back to camp the next day we go to the main spot and I wanted to save it for the next morning is the place where we had the the wall of, um, where the mud hole was and where I'd been getting most of the pictures of the hog. So this was our second chance um, to get a hog. We don't take tree stands or anything. We decided we're just gonna set up on the ground, we've got a little ground blind thing. Three panel. Yeah, a little three panel blind. It's worked great for us with turkey and other things. Um, so we go, we set up. Um, sitting a little bit up on the hill just overlooking this this waller the waller had to be 20 to 25 yards away yeah it was close yeah so it, was, it was actually really if close. they come in though they were most likely going to come in from our left come up to it or just, down this hill in front of us or down this hill in front of us and i really felt like most of the pictures that i was getting they were coming down off of that hill um to get to that so we, we had a great vantage point Unfortunately, um, we didn't see anything that morning, did we? And then we walked a long, long place. Miles. To go back to get the well, other not camera. Not miles, but total miles to get. Yeah, we, we had to go get the other camera because we were done. And what day was that? That was Christmas Eve. It was Christmas Eve. So we needed to pick up our cameras, go back, tear down the camp, get everything packed up, and get ready to come back out. But... Uh, it seemed like a quick trip, didn't it? Like three days. Did you have fun on that trip? It was really fun, right? It was kind of. It's kind of different, right? Yeah. It's not something that we normally do. We're I mean, not used to it. Yeah. So. And to have a really good encounter the first day. The first day, we had a nice eight pointer buck come through on us, and to it's like my third time on that public property. I'd, I'd turkey hunted it last spring. I'd been out there the week before. And then that next week, the hunt. first day, we had, we have a big, you know, a good encounter with a nice eight pointer. So I feel like it's a place that we're going to visit some more this year. We may have some turkey hunts out there. We will have some turkey hunts out there. And it really is peaceful out there. Yeah. Especially away from all the 
It's a big, big, big property. You can get way back in there, away from a lot. Um, and, you know, that's good for the wildlife. That's good for the deer. It's good for the turkeys. It and makes them feel comfortable. Obviously, the hogs are doing very well back there, too. So, more hunts coming from the public land on the National Forest land. All right. Anything else you want to say to the viewers? Like and subscribe. And our videos on our channel, watch them. And we also got TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So, and, yeah. several several social media outlets to go check us out. Instagram, Which is all Youth TikTok, Outdoors 23. Facebook, Youth Outdoors 23. Like and subscribe this for future videos. Um, that way you can stay tuned to all of our recent happenings.